Good morning. Good morning. We are at the CTA Belmont stop waiting for the train to take us into the loop to film our interview and go to the Chicago Marathon Expo. friends at the Art Institute. Look, they said look for the camera somewhere outside, maybe south, because then there's like better shading and trees and stuff. Yeah. I'm a little nervous because I met the videographer yesterday, we did, and he's like, did you, did they give you the questions? And I was like, no. He's like, oh good. And I was like, well, should I, like, I don't think so. Like, I don't know if I missed an email. He's like, no, 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 I like when they don't because I like to get like, like. Candid. Candid reaction and thoughts. Reaction. I was like, I did like a pre-interview with ACS people. Yeah. He's like, no, we're good, we're good. So. Yeah. I wanted you to keep talking until the Route 66 sign, but I can just film when we get there. <laughs> wow. Lots of stickers on it. They will typically do a cleanup of it every so often. So that is the start of our beloved Mother Road. Here's the crew. These gardens have been closed, so it's so nice to see people out and about. done, interview's over, took the bus here, now I'm gonna go to a race expo. <laughs> Peter gets so excited and I love it. So the line is very, very long. Yeah. We didn't intentionally do this, but we got in a line from the Bank of America, like Bob Taylor told us to get in a line. Yeah. All of a sudden they merged. It's yeah. like two city blocks of people behind us that we yeah. bypassed. Right, because um, we were in the, I don't know. We we're just like, yeah, we just listened to the person. But um, good timing, James, he fell asleep. So he'll have his nap here. That's bag check and I think vaccine check. Unexpected benefit, bring your baby in a stroller. We got to skip the rest of the line. They were like small children. Yeah, so we got to skip and then go through bag check. So now back at pickup. And then the expo, which Jenna's working the expo right now. Yeah, look at this big map. You know I'm a sucker for big map. We have to go to the expo, get our packets, and just bask in all the fun. We, we met a friend in the elevator who's also on Team Determination. For the past four years. Like sports complex, but like times 20. It's huge. Wow. Woo! And now we're. We have to get my shirt. All right, so the main, the presenting sponsor is Abbott. And they are, Chicago's part of the Abbott World Majors. Look at this. I'm going to do these. I will do these one day. Boston, New York, Tokyo, Berlin, London. Woo! And Chicago. And look at then six star finisher so you get a star for finishing each one of these ah uh, my london virtual london doesn't count one day we're gonna get all six stars right yes. my london doesn't count i've already looked it up yeah and i don't want it to count like i want to be there yeah look at this cool thing so it's start and finish and i think it's telling you how fast you would run wow all right all the goods Here's my bib, my tracker, my tag for a Goose Island beer afterwards. We got Goose Island water bottle. Nice. Pretty slick. Nice. We got Kleenex so I can cry. <laughs> this is what I got to show you right here. Yeah. 
Oh, this is nice. I, I thought it was going to be something else. Ooh. Very nice. Side 21. It's like orangey red. <laughs> and also, right behind us, ACS booth. And then a couple of coupons. A couple of two tree coupons. Yay! Look at this beautiful booth. Okay, we got some food. Peter got a fancy grilled cheese. I got a turkey bacon club. Yes, we can do split these. Are you eating the pickle? Yes. So I want to show you guys, oh, on top of these delicious looking sandwiches. What did I just, oh, that's that. I snagged something from ACS. I didn't steal it. I donated to get it. Who remembers me rocking these for like a whole month? before I lost them. I think I got these like my second ECS race. There was like if I donated a certain, if I got to a certain goal, I would get a pair of these. See they've got the determination logo. On the inside they say determination. I'm wearing these tomorrow. They're my Chicago marathon. So we decided because we were literally starving that we were gonna eat first and then finish the expo and not a feel rushed. But at, we'll still wait till after we eat. But look at that CTA bus over there. That is Goose Island. He's been like talking to his food. He's like, I love it. <laughs> I love you. I think that's what he's saying. You he's are like, so, he's good. so good. He's got his Italian expressions going. All right, are our bellies full? Feel much better? Sarah was like very, very hungry, like before we even left to come down here. Um, now, can we expo it up? Yes. We have one goal of recovery flip flops, maybe, yeah. and a, a side bonus goal that if we can find Martin's caffeinated drink, we're gonna get it. And I think I might get a beer from the Goose Island train. You don't mind us. Yeah, I appreciate it. Hey, you! You got your sack off! <laughs> what the heck? What did you just get? I just got a pair of recovery sandals that I've been wanting for years. Yay! Years. This is so cool. It's an old CPA train car. They're just giving out samples. You thought that they were like goodbye full size. Alrighty, we've seen it all. This is the poster that the runners get. It's pretty stinking cute. Dig it. Are you ready? I'm pretty. You just want to go run right now? I'm just going to go sleep at the park right now. <laughs> we decided to walk to the red line, the Chinatown stop. Yes. And honestly, it's been the hottest walk of my entire life. This sign is just like baking us. For and we all have like layers and pants on. It was like 65 this morning. And now it's like 80 and we're in jeans. It's toasty, it's toasty. But it was a good, it was like, I needed the like, fresh air. Yeah. So we're just like a block away from the red line now. Look at one of those 25 foot skeletons. We're up on top of progress bar. I always feel bad whenever we leave Eve for long periods of time. But then I want to take her for a walk and all she wants to do is sit in the corner in the exact same position she does when she sits in the window. Or at least this time, she's like basking in the wind. <laughs> hey Pumba, what are we playing? Uh, 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 tag? <laughs> tag, you're right. You're right. Tag, you're right, James. Hi, vlog. I'm back. So we came to Christina and Grant's tonight for some dinner. Oh, and we got some cappies. Yes, we are still alive vlog. We're still alive. We haven't ba seen you in a bed. Barely, barely. I got mozzarella sticks. Peter won't invite me over anymore. <laughs> he says we live too far now. <laughs> Yummy. 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 Bibi got a bacon cheeseburger. Peter's got a pre-race chicken pita. What are you eating, Jamesy? He's eating my peppers. Ooh. I got an Italian beef. I haven't had one in so long. 
What'd you get? I'm a pig. How are you today? I got two wraps. <laughs> the wraps are small. <laughs> Steeny, what do you got over there? Oh, excuse me. You, you, got, you definitely got that. <laughs> a ribeye steak sandwich? This is you boys our, are bad news. our first instance of James and Luca actually playing together. It's like Pepe from Muppet. <laughs> from the Muppets. I see, see, see. <laughs> Look at the shadow. I haven't seen Violet in a really long time. I'm really like concerned about her. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Alright, we're almost home. Next time you see the skyline on the vlog. It'll be running the Chicago Marathon. Oh my gosh. Very, very excited. Cannot believe it's finally here. We're gonna go home and start prepping, get my outfits ready, get Sarah's bag ready, get everything set. And then bedtime, it's 9, 12. Hopefully we'll be in bed by 10, 10, 30. I hope so, I'm really tired. <laughs> and I'm not even the one running. <laughs> James, he's just, you know, doing a little reading before bed something we did not plan for or think about and i don't know why because we lived a year in this neighborhood before and we've been living here since early this year is the fact that marathon's coming through a neighborhood and that means like two major streets that actually have parking on them are no parking tonight because of the marathon in the morning, which means all the people that typically park there, including us, have to find spots in the other streets, which means the parking is super saturated. So, Sarah got out a while ago. I, bet, I got very lucky, actually, considering the track record of, our, of like worst nights of parking, but it took me about 35 minutes to find a parking spot. Um, I went down two last streets, and I told myself, if that's the case, I'm literally gonna, if I don't go down these two streets and it's been long enough, I need to get home to go to bed and get ready that I was just going to park west of Wrigleyville and like just walk, you know, a mile or three quarters of a mile home. Um, Cause I knew I'd be able to find parking quickly over there. And I was like, cause what's the difference of me going in circles for another 25 minutes to find a parking spot close or just go park and walk 15 minutes home. Um, but I got lucky. So, but that was looking frightening for a moment because now it's almost 10. And uh, just gotta get home, get my stuff ready, my outfit picked out and everything. My gels out, routine, set the alarms, and hit the hay. Race starts in 10 hours. It took Peter kind of a long time to get a parking spot. So I've been doing everything I can to get us packed for the morning. We just wanna basically be able to like change and leave in the morning. Um, I think our goal is to get there like between six and 6.30. So like leave an hour before that, even though it's it's really not that long, but we just don't know how frequent the trains will be. So just wanna be careful. So the bag is mostly packed besides bottles and Peter's shoes that I'm gonna be bringing along. And hopefully we'll get to go to bed. Well, we're all as ready as we're gonna be. So we're gonna go to bed and get as much rest because it's a big day for all of us. Mm -hmm. These two will be gallivanting throughout the city to meet me yes. while I run a marathon. It's the... so cool to have someone come with me. <laughs> I'm used to doing it just me. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Say it's good. To you got You're it. Right. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.